Hello guys and welcome to today's video. My name is Declan O'Flaherty. It's the last video of the week because I decided not to do any for the weekend. I think that's probably better for your benefit more than mine. So today, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create these boxes here to put on your website. And it's very, very simple to do. So I urge you not to knock off this video and actually download this WordPress plugin. You can actually do it through your back, your, um, into the dashboard of your WordPress back office. You can actually download this plugin and create these boxes very 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 easily and i'm going to show you exactly how to do it and they really are nice boxes that obviously are used to break up your content and make your content look more attractive and that makes a big difference it's not just about what's written in your content and what people are reading but it's stuff like this boxes like this that break up your content that actually when it's, it makes your content more attractive and that means it actually makes more people people want to read your content even more and then even though it's only a simple little thing, believe me, these things make a big, big difference. And there's no reason for you not to do this anyway, because it's so, so simple with J shortcodes. Now you can go onto the J shortcodes website and you can look at exactly how this is done. Because if you look at this box here that was created here, at the very top, it tells you exactly how to do it. But I'm gonna show you here today how to do it. Because if you look on my page here, I have a couple of these set up, but I have a, a, a nice one here in the bottom. And it's, it doesn't stand out much. It's not a big color box or anything like that. But even that alone makes a big difference. It breaks up your content. It breaks the monotony. And it makes it look more attractive. attractive. And it does make a big difference. If you're creating sales pages, for example, if you look at my product here, it's inside one of these boxes. And they're very, very easy to create. And you can create all different colors as well, which I'm going to show you how to do too. So what I want you to do is in your WordPress dashboard, If you just go into plugins and add new, and then inside, inside the search bar, you just type in J shortcodes. I already have it typed in here, J shortcodes and search plugins. And the very top one here, as you can see, J shortcodes. I already have it installed. I really urge you to go ahead and install this because you will actually use this. I guarantee you, you will use it inside your content. <laughs> and there's actually no reason why you wouldn't because it does make your content look great. And you don't have, obviously you don't have to use it in all your blog posts, but sometimes in certain content that you're writing in certain blog posts or, or whatever it is, it's nice that you have important information that you want to stand out, especially if you're doing testimonials and stuff like that. And I know we went through this the other day briefly inside PowerPoint, but this is actually, J Shortcodes is a much better way of doing this. It really, really is. So install that plugin, and when you do, We're gonna look at how to actually create these boxes. So I think I have another one on the other page as well. You see, I have one here. And I just, I just went for the clear look, but you can actually change it around and have different colors, which can probably even make it pop even more, which I might actually do, just change these to a different color. There's another one there. So I've been using them on actually all my content. If you look, as I say, my products, I have them in here. For testimonials, I have them here. And it, it breaks up your content, makes it look nice. I'm probably droning on the board here. But I'm gonna show you, right? So if I create to edit this page, I'm gonna show you exactly how I did this. And it's, it's very, very straightforward. You don't need to know anything about HTML to do this. Once you have the plugin installed, if you actually scroll down here where I have this, you can actually see it here, so. This is the content here I wanted to put inside one of those boxes. So at the very start of that content, all I do is type in you see this one, it's a hard right bracket and then simply J box and then close the bracket with a right hard bracket. That's it at the start of the content and where you want the content to end, where you want the box to end. You simply after that, after the content ends, after whatever, where, you, where the written word has ended. Um, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm not explaining this properly, but it's the same thing really. It's the same as this one here with the hard, hard left bracket, bracket, J box and then hard right bracket. To close it off, it's hard left bracket and then just a forward slash. And then J box again and close it with a hard right bracket. And that's it. And that's how you create these boxes. Now you have to have this plugin installed to do this. And I recommend you do it in HTML. So I have it in visual here because I already have it installed, but I recommend you do it in HTML first, or if you're gonna save it, save it in HTML. And again, it's to create these boxes. Now we look for example, this one is, Remember if you give away 100 ebooks, so we scroll down. So that's this one here, okay, that we're looking at. So say if I want to change the color of this to orange. Well, it's quite simply, 
See where it has J box here? So after the box, now not after the hard bracket, but after the box, after the J box, you press the space bar once and then type in color equals and then whatever color you want to do. Now I know that red in this one actually looks a bit orange, so I type in red and that's it. Oh, sorry, sorry. In quotes, you type in the name of the color, so red, close to quotes, and that's it. So hard left bracket, J box, and then space, color equals, and then in quotes, whatever color you want it to be. I chose red there, and let's just put it into text version just so make sure that it renders it properly. And if we scroll down, this one should now turn to red or orange or whatever. And there it is there. You see how simple that is? It's very, very simple, very straightforward. And if you look at that, that can definitely make a content pop. Because if you have a whole page with all the same content, well, you know, that's the same format all the way down. It doesn't jump out at people. People could actually read as far as get to here and then decide to hit the back button. But if you have a couple of these going throughout, throughout your content, then it really does make your content pop, it makes it interesting, makes it look more attractive, and it forces people to read even more. So really, really think about installing this plugin and get, putting it to use. And again, if you go onto JShortcode's website, they can show you how to do this with pictures and all these call to action boxes and all these different type of boxes. But that's how straightforward it is. Show you one more time. This is the content that I want to put into a box. If you just want the plain, the plain box, the plain clear see-through box, it's obviously hard left bracket, J box, and then close to hard right bracket with a right bracket, bracket. And then at the end of the content, hard left bracket, forward slash J box, and then hard right bracket. That's it. Put in the text, save it, and it's done. And if you want to do a different color, and then just in the J box one here, after J box, press space, color equals, and just in quotes, I'll type blue, close quotes. That's it, put it into text, and let's preview that. And hopefully now this will be in blue, which it is. So this is a great little plugin you can use, and it's very, very simple. You just install it, and then just put those As I said, you just put this at the start and then one at the end of where you want the content in a box. I really hope this makes sense. I'm probably bad at explaining this one today for some reason, but um, that's really how simple it is. If you actually go onto the J-Codes J -Codes website, you can see how you can create all this. And it really, really is a great thing to mess around with and you can create some cracking boxes that can make your content pop. So. Thank you for coming through to watch this video, the last one of the week. I really hope you got some value out of this. And I really urge you to actually download this plugin and install it and play around with it because you can create some cracking boxes that make your content pop. I've been Declan O'Flaherty. Have a fantastic weekend. And if you're working, have a really productive weekend. See you Monday. All the best.